guys, my name is Chrissy and today I'm going to be showing you how I got this clown makeup look. My first Halloween video for the year 2018. So if you want to see how I got this look and if you want to see more Halloween videos from me, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Thanks for watching and let's just get into the video. Guys, today we're going to be starting with our eyes. I already did my full face routine and my eyebrows, both of which that I have videos for and I'll be sure to put them down below so you guys can go see how I got this perfected base be sure to check them out either before or after this video whichever one you need i guess <laughs> i'm just gonna get into this clown makeup and i first off want to start by saying that this is my first time doing this type of makeup so if i can do it i believe then you can too guys don't doubt yourself so i'm gonna start with the color hunt in my jaclyn hill morphe palette and i'm gonna just blend that all into the crease and above it You should really blend going from the outer crease to the inner crease. I don't know why I have this like habit of starting from the inner portion, but don't follow me guys in that sense. <laughs> I'm kind of like really going in to my inner corner, like on my nose bridge-ish. I just really like the way that looks, honestly. So as you guys can see, I'm going like really high with this color. I was thinking whether to go with an orange eyeshadow or a red eyeshadow as my transition color because I feel like red would be more bloody and just like, you know, just look more spooky. And I felt like um, orange would be more like just Halloween-y. So you know what I did? I decided I'm going to use both of those colors. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Now I'm going to go into the color Rock Sand and I'm also going to apply that into my crease. Just not as high as the first color. This is just a slightly darker orange just so it like has a seamless transition into the red. The transition isn't like super duper like harsh. Now I'm going to go into the ready color. That color is called Jax. Starting from the outer edge, I'm going to keep this one right in the crease. I'm going to go back over with the brush I used for the orange and I'm just going to blend out the edges a little bit more without adding any product. I'm really contemplating whether I should do a cut crease or not. Now I'm going to use another blending brush and I'm going to take the color Central Park and I'm going to pack it on the outer V of my eye. Right here. And I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. And then going back in with the brush that I used for the red, I'm going to blend that out some more. This color does take a little bit more blending, I've noticed. I was watching some videos and apparently like the darker colors and the Morphe shades are always a little bit harder to work with, which is not fun. So just like keep blending away. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and do a half cut crease with some concealer. You guys don't have to do this if you don't think you're at the skill level. You can literally just pack the eyeshadow on and then like intensen the crease afterwards, which I'll show you. But I just want mine to be like super like cut, you know. So I'm just going to like go ahead and try that. So yeah, you can skip this step, but I'm going to do it. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, basically is all I'm saying. Just to make it like easier for yourself, obviously. But I just really want to see how it looks with like a more defined cut crease. You know when people do that like thing where they like put the concealer on their eye and then just like look up? 
Like, I always just, like, eye out my cut crease. But, like, I literally even see people do that trick. And I'm just, like, trying to do it. But it's not working right now. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done a cut crease in a while. So I might be a little bit messy. I feel like I only ever do cut creases for, for my videos. This doesn't have to be like super duper neat because like I said, we're going to go in with the eyeshadow again and define the cut crease. That method is just not working for me. <laughs> Now I'm going to go in with this shade and this is the color Obsessed and I'm just going to pack that on with my finger. Actually, you know, I feel like it would be more better if I packed it on with a brush. I'm just like so used to packing shadows on with my finger these days. Now going back in with an angle brush, this is actually a brush that I had for my eyebrows. I'm going to take that red color back up and I'm just going to go in over my cut crease to make it more defined. So just right above where I applied that shadow. Defined. Now we're gonna go in with some black, guys. I'm gonna use that same brush I used to darken the edges before, and I'm just gonna take some black and I'm gonna apply it to the edges and just blend it up. And out. And also blending the edges of where the half cut crease stopped. So it's more gradient. I should have put that brown before I put the black to like gradient out this half of the cut crease. But let me finish with the black and then let me see what I can do about that. I think what makes it so easy is because it's a Halloween look, so you don't have to be like super perfect with it. You look a little bit of a mess, it doesn't really matter because you still look like a hot mess. You get what I'm saying? You get me a hot mess? A hot mess? <laughs> Funny. Pretty cute, pretty cute. I'm gonna take the red brush and I'm gonna blend out the edges a little more. Blend it. This looks good. <laughs> I actually really like doing cut creases on my eyes. I think those are always like my best videos usually. So yeah, <laughs> this cut crease is very workable. It makes your lids look massive and I already have massive lids. So I think that's why it works even more, but literally it can work for anyone. So for eyes, I'm gonna be using my Ico eyeliner. I actually got this in a glips, a glipsy, in a gypsy, gypsy. I actually got this in the Ipsy Glam Bag. You guys can go watch that haul if you want to. So it's just this like little eyeliner. And it says skinny, but it's really not that skinny. That's why I'm using it right now. I kind of want like a more full um, liner. And usually I use my Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner, but I feel like this would be better for today because it's just a little bit thicker on the eye.
then I actually came out pretty well guys pretty proud of myself there I haven't done a thick eyeliner in a minute so I'm like oh yeah I did that so now I'm gonna use my lash paradise mascara for my lashes I think I might darken up the outer crease a little bit more let's get to the rest of the makeup before I decide Ooh. about to make myself go blind with this mascara i forgot to mention that i actually went to a costume store today i went to spirit halloween costume shop and i was looking at like costumes and i just saw some of the makeup on the like printed labels so i just like got some inspo from there and this is like the picture i'm trying to go for today i'll obviously put it up on the screen but, um this is really what i'm like trying to go for right now so yeah let's just do that i'm like really nervous but okay so right now we're gonna take the black eyeshadow and we're gonna smoke it out on our bottom lashes so we're just not gonna be like super neat we're just gonna smoke it out but i don't know if everyone has lines in their eyes i feel like everyone does i'm just gonna cover all those lines with this black mascara that's the easiest way i could tell you how far down to smoke it out I feel like I sound really dead, but it's literally almost 3 in the morning, and I'm doing this tutorial right now. Now I'm going with this NK Bold Lip Liner. They actually have an eyeliner that's exactly the same as this, so I mean like, whichever one you want to pick up, you could go ahead and do that. But I'm just going to line my bottom waterline with that. I look a hot mess right now guys but bear with me <laughs> so now i'm gonna draw out where i want my lines to be this is the scary part guys i hope i do this really well guys i think i actually wanted to add a little bit of white underneath my eyes so i bought this palette from spirit halloween today it was like five dollars and it has black white pink and purple i'm gonna use the white right now i actually forgot a few steps that i'm gonna like do right now that i should have done right before the lines so i'm just gonna take this blending sponge and i'm gonna dip it into the white and i'm just gonna take a little bit under my eyes just like the lightest because unless you're like white then obviously you can go ahead and have more but since I'm dark skin, I don't want to look crazy. So yeah, sorry guys, I keep looking over there. I'm just like trying to see if I'm gonna focus and if my camera stopped recording because it keeps stopping to record. But on um, yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit, put it under. This for a more ashy kind of clown-like look. I think that that's exactly what I needed. I'm gonna actually add some blush before I finish with that, and I'm just gonna take up this color right here, this orangey one. Since I have orange and red on my eyes. I'm going to go back in with that black shadow again and, and create the other two. There's like one more line that's supposed to be here. I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> I'm going to go with the black face paint now. Let's see how this even works. It looks a little bit ashy in the palette, but let's see how it is. So I'm just going to use that and I'm trace over the lines that I already put on my face. I think it's easier to draw the line from bottom to top than it is to do it from top to bottom. So I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to clean up those lines as best as I possibly can. I'm gonna extend the middle one. I kind of just feel like this face paint isn't intense enough, so it kind of isn't giving off the effect I want it to give off. So I think I might go in with this eyeliner and line those a little bit just to make it more intense. So the lines. 
I'm using my Ico eyeliner now. It was kind of like pointless for the paint. So yeah, you guys can basically skip that step and just do this. Unless you feel like it benefits you or makes it easier for you, then I say go ahead. But you can also do that with eyeshadow or the gel eyeliner or anything. So Okay, so we're going to do the part that's going to make this look really tied together and make me stop looking like a freaking fool on camera. Yeah. So I'm just going to use that bold lip liner and I'm going to line my lips with it. I'm going to go in with the eye curl again and I'm just going to extend the upper lip. So there's that. You guys can see the look kind of comes together now so I don't look like a freaking idiot on camera. Just messy ass eyes. Oh, but today I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place Liquid Lipstick. I actually bought this so long ago and never used it and I was like, today I was like, oh, how do we even have a black lipstick for this look? Then I remembered, I was like, wait a minute, I have a black lipstick. So I'm going to be using this today and yeah i could have even used this to draw the lines too there's like so many alternatives so i'm just gonna take it out like i feel like i just look like a clown <laughs> which is the purpose of this makeup today okay uh okay then i'm going to add some little curly things at the top I'm going to darken my cut crease with the eye, black eyeliner. I feel like I'm missing some depth in this look. Like a lot of depth. I was actually supposed to do this before, but I kind of want to see how it looked before I did it. I'm just going to go ahead and add that more black. Holding the brush a lot smaller, the color is more intense. I actually saw this girl highlight her brow bone with a white I kind of want to try it. So I wasn't exactly happy with the end result of this makeup look. And I just felt like it needed a little bit more to add to it. So first off, I took my Ico eyeliner and I went back in. And I extended the inner corner portion of my eyes with the liner. As well as extending the middle like teardrop thingy from my eyes. I decided to add two hearts to that. Just to give it, like, I don't know, a clowny, like, jokery type effect. Like, something different. Like, it felt like it needed something there. I just drew two round circles on each side, intersecting each other, and then drew in the bottom portion. It's really not easy drawing hearts upside down on your face, but, um, if you do, do it that way, it's a lot better. I went in with my Ruby Kisses eyeliner in white and I highlighted my brow bone because I saw another YouTuber do this and I thought it was really, really cute and it just added a lot to it. So I highlighted my brow bone with a white eyeliner from Ruby Kisses, which is only $2, guys, so that's really good. And also in my inner tear ducts on my bottom waterline, I also added some white just to open up my eyes and not just be black there you know I also went in with some more blush and applied that over my nose and I feel like those few touches on this look really made it what it is if you guys like this video be sure to like and subscribe to my channel thank you so 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 much for watching there will be more halloween videos coming so if you guys want to see that be sure to stick around and hit the bell button to be notified when my next post is thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye